Welcome to Shared Passing Thoughts. Okay, today we are going to be looking at an Ember Amethyst deck. This deck is mainly focused in, focusing in on drawing a lot of cards and uh, making sure that we have a lot of characters in play to lure with and just overwhelm our opponents with a large hand size and with a large uh, in-play character presence. So we actually got a pretty good hand here. This is really good, actually. We've got a one cost, we've got a two cost, we've got a three, and we've got a four ink cost and a five ink cost, and we got some inkables. So we're actually gonna keep this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and ink our queen so we can play Stitch. We can't play queen till turn five anyways, so. Nice. Um, okay, so we want to go ahead and put Cusco in play. So let's get rid of Squirrel. And now we'll play Cusco. Quest with Stitch and pass. Okay, our opponent is going to try to ink ramp. There aren't really any threats in play, so let's go ahead and get rid of Crab. And we want to play Maleficent, so that way we can go ahead and draw another card. And we'll quest. So we have three characters in play and four cards in hand. And our opponent only has one character in play. Okay, so they're going to try to continue to ramp. And they do have Ruby, so we do need to look out for... Be prepared. But the goal is to try to get so many cards in our hand and cards in play that will trigger when they are banished that even if they play Be Prepared, it shouldn't be a big issue. Okay, so friends on the other side with Maleficent, so we can draw two cards. Um, we will end up questing with these other characters. Let's go ahead and ink the Queen so we can play the Rabbit and draw another card. Go ahead and finish up with that questing. So we're at five lore already, and they really don't have anything in play to really stop us. They are getting that extra ink. They might be trying to ramp to be prepared. But we do have Rabbit and Cusco in play, so even if they do play be prepared, we're gonna be drawing two cards. Let's just go ahead and friends on the other side so that way we'll get more cards in our hand. And we'll play another friends on the other side. So now we have plenty of cards to work with, so even if they do a be prepared, we're going to be able to come back pretty quickly. We can go ahead and play Madame Ma'am, though it will return one of these cards back to our hand. Let's just go ahead and get the rabbit trigger. Yeah, let's just go ahead and pass the turn. Um, I think... I mean, they're probably going to be prepared here. Yep, so be prepared. Which, that's fine. We get to draw another card. And we have plenty of cards in our hand. They only have three. Yeah, they could probably play things like Hades. They may have another be prepared, but... Even if they have another be prepared, we'll still be good here. Okay, so the queen's a little slower. Let's just go ahead and probably ink her. Yep, let's go ahead and ink her. Now we could just play rabbit, we could play goat, but we might go with Hades because if we play Hades, we can get the Cusco back out. And then that way, if they do play another Be Prepared, we're drawing another card. Let's do Hades, grab Cusco, and we'll play Cusco. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and 
concede. That was a quick game. Let's go ahead and do another one. Okay, so we got a one, a two, and a three, and a four. So, really good hand. Let's just keep it. Uh, so we can play Queen, we can go into Cusco, and then we could go into Maleficent, and then play Rabbit. We'll get rid of the Mim. Got our Queen in play. And let's see what our opponent got. See what our opponent is playing. They are playing a Ruby. And they're playing an Amethyst. A Ruby Amethyst. Let's Ink Squirrel and then we'll go and play Cusco. And Quest with Queen. Now they do have Pascal. Pascal, this could be an evasive deck. If so, we just have to make sure that we try to maintain lore with more board presence than them throughout the game. Okay, they're going to get rid of our queen. So they're probably thinking we're shifting, and that's the thing with this deck, we're, we don't do the shifts, but sometimes it distracts them into going for those queens and stitches. Even though we don't shift, they just, they don't know that. So if they see it as a threat, they will use their turn and cards on taking out a one cost two two that's it's just gonna be a one cost two two in this deck. Okay, so they got some bounce going on. We'll go ahead and draw for Cusco, and we might want to take out this fox. And the reason we want to take out this fox is because we don't want it to mess up our board presence. But Goat's a good, solid play. Um, nope, they got a Goat also. But Goat's good because you go ahead and you're increasing in your lore, but you also have a pretty good board presence with a four strength. Could just Goat again, or we could play Hades and get something back. Or we could Rabbit and draw cards because we are starting to get a little on the lower side. Let's Rabbit. Yeah, and we just wanted to grab it so that way we maintain a good amount of cards in our hand. Uh, they don't have anything to discard cards in our hand since they're running Amethyst Ruby. And now that we got friends on the other side, we can always just go ahead and sing for more cards. And it looks like they're starting to play a similar strategy to us at this point. The only thing is, is we have a head start. That was a nice play with friends on the other side. I'm just gonna ink this stitch. We could friends on the other side get more, but I wanna go ahead and get rid of this goat threat. Now we can friends, so that way we'll get more cards. We could just, yeah, go ahead and grab it again. So now that we got rabbit out, we were able to get more cards, and we're in a good, pretty good position at this point. We have two more lore. They are able to maintain a hand size as well, so we do have to be a little bit more on our feet compared to the previous game, where they were not having a very good board presence and they ran out of cards in their hand pretty quickly. That is not the case with this opponent. More draw power here. So we could just go ahead and keep drawing but we could Hades. We could just play Goat too to go ahead and try to get more lore. 
let's friends to see what we can get. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of Queen and keep Madame Mim so that way if we do need to rush in, we can. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and play Goat, Lure Up, and Maleficent for the draw. Crab is there as something that we could also do, like a indirect type of rush where we can just buff something that's already in play. Which, with Maui in play, we're either going to take Maui out with a Goat, or we're going to play Fox, or we can do Crab. They do have a pretty good board presence right now, but we can deal with the Maui. And we have way more lore than them, so not a big threat at this point. We just have to watch it and make sure that the tables don't turn here. Okay, so we get to draw a card for that. And our hand size is looking way better than our opponent's. We got some pretty good situations here with Madame Mim and Crab that we could deal with Maui. So yeah, better go ahead and return the goats, and then we'll just go ahead and fox. Now that Maui's out of the way, we know that we can go ahead and try to build a good board presence. So we'll drop goat. And crab's just one of those cards that's really useful if we're fighting a higher willpower deck. And there's the be prepared. Which is fine. We're going to gain a lore off of that. And we do have Hades, so we can bring out another goat. And we have enough ink to actually do Hades and a goat. So that way we can go ahead and rebuild our board presence with some decent stats card. And then we can go ahead and gain lore. Okay, so they're trying to dig for probably a Be Prepared or some kind of removal card, Maui, something like that. Okay, so they do have more of a bounce strategy, more of a bounce strategy in trying to get lore quickly. At this point of the game, though, it's probably too late for them to catch up. With Recursion and Draw both going at the same time, we can just get these goats. And e again, even if he plays a Be Prepared here, we're going to gain two lore for the two goats that go away. And we could just go ahead and return one of the goats again with Part of Your World. Okay, so he's probably GGing here. Unless he's playing Be Prepared. Or might have been hoping to draw a be prepared. Yeah, so that was probably an all-in strategy. Nope, they still had to be prepared. They're just returning the Arthur so they can try to lure ramp. Well, we're just going to go ahead and rebuild our board presence while maintaining a good hand size. And actually, we can just go ahead and win. Oh, never mind. They went ahead and conceded. So there we go. Two games with Amber Amethyst and two concedes. Second one was a little bit more challenging, but good game.